such a beautiful morning here in Savo at Baobab Stables. I'm a bit late. Everybody seems to have got here before me. Morning, Mind. Morning. How are you? Good. How are you? Come and tell us what the plan is this morning. Cool. When I'm cantering. When you're cantering? Yeah. Because we've been working on that quite a bit, haven't we? Yeah. Yeah. Are you ready? Uh, yeah, I just need to get the saddle pad from the saddle. Okay. And the reins and the bit. Okay, let's get going before it gets too hot. Uh. Well, this is the big bad Nicki Minaj. Kingston! And them should know. So to do that is to ride without your stirrups quite a lot and without your reins to get my balance really really good. So um, before I do that I'm going to be going to give Luna you know, a bit of a groom um, and then I'm going to get her all tapped up and then we'll be ready to go out into the arena to race. Okay, how do I get on? Are you going to help me? Yes. Let me just drop that. And then... season maybe after this there'll be lots of butterflies look at that it's so pretty literally when me and my brother were coming down on the bikes there were literally so many caterpillars hanging down from the spider webs we were literally covered in caterpillars all over our shirts and when i got here luna you looked like a mud pond you were very filthy and you had caterpillars all over your head. So now I'm just going to go grab Luna and go do some grooming. sweating the lesson so but we don't want that for you Luna do we? Are you gonna let me groom?
some sparkly now and I'm going to go get her bridle and saddle and get tacked. So me and Luna are a bit matchy matchy today because Luna's got a white saddle pad and I've got white trousers and she's got a, wore a blue hairband and I think I have a blue hairband. Yep, I think I do. Right, Luna's. Shall I? here in Savo I really have to put sun cream on because I've got lots of freckles on my nose and now I'm gonna grab the lid and let's take the lid off and put the sun cream on. Would you like some Luna? You little nice boy. <laughs> no. You look so funny. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> you look so funny Luna with that funny little white hat. Are you ready, Luna? Yep, because I am ready. Let's go. So not be late. Come on, you've got work to do. Come on, could you help me? Yeah. Just you checked your girth? Uh, I'll put it one notch high. Oh, Lila. Stop puffing the towel. Help. You're not helping. Can you help me? Right. Uh, got it? Um, I think I got it. It's just a bit hard. Okay, no, I don't got it. Okay, let me come and help you. to warm up your pony by doing lots of changing directions um, heating up your brain and it's also very important to warm up yourself by doing circles with your hand taking a few turns of your stirrups getting nice and stretched so that's very important to warm up you and the horse so I'm just going to be doing, changing the rain quite a lot. So when I get down there, I'm going to be changing the rain. So as you can see my mum's taking my stirrups fully away 
um, she's also tied a knot in my reins. So then I can trot or ride without my hand. But I'm in an arena, so I'm pretty safe. But if you're riding not in an arena, um, it's better to be on a lunge just to be a bit safe. So now we're gonna. Oh, another really good idea for balance is to tuck your knees up like a jockey. Um, so then that will help you get your bum in the saddle, which will help my balance as well. So just ride around like that a couple of times and then you can put them back down and try to trot. Okay, so it feels a bit weird. Um, I haven't done this in quite a long time. gotten really really hot and I'm really thirsty so I've had to get my water bottle and have some water and I think you are ready for some water and these flies are really irritating me and really irritating you are they naughty flies okay so it's very important to warm up your horse in the beginning but it's also very important to cool down your horse at the end. So what I'm going to be doing is just walking around that big arena and just cooling Luna a bit down. got my bum in the saddle um, and, to, and I was happy that I canted without my stirrups and my balance was really really good and if, if you're bouncing around on there never give up because one day you will get your bum in the saddle so because when I first started riding I never got my bum in the saddle until I was actually really good because I never gave up and I keep on practicing
very right jawed pose is because they get really, really dirty. Mackerel only, um, slobber, all sorts of horsey stuff. Guys, I really, I want, I just wanted to show you something. Um, all of these caterpillars are literally dangling down from, with some webs dangling down from the trees. I don't know if you can see them, but literally, everywhere we go, we're literally getting covered in caterpillars. These tiny little bugs, and it's caterpillar season. So it's getting more and more caterp caterpillars everywhere. Um, what do they turn into? They turn into pretty butterflies. Um, so after the caterpillar season, the whole entire area will be covered in butterflies, which I think I will enjoy. So I don't know what kind of caterpillar these caterpillars are, but eventually they'll make some cool kind of, it's actually called a raccoon. And then, <laughs> cocoon. A cocoon. And then they'll hatch out of the cocoon and turn into a butterfly. <laughs> So I've just come back from my riding lesson and I really, really wanted to show you something really cool, something else. Come. And it's very, very, very cool. Hey, Michael. Hey, Michael. Hi, Elephant. Hi, Elephant. Hi, Russ. This is my brother, he's called Russell. This is very, very special. And this is what my parents look after here in Africa. Um, because of poachers. My parents look after elephants and all sorts of wild. There. How many are there, Russell? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, I think there are seven. Seven.